Hi, I'm Nick Form, and this is my final form. Today, I've got a big desk and even bigger dreams. Let's get started. So E3 2017 is over and done with, and now that the dust has settled, we've got time to look back and see what's going on. People have discounted Nintendo in the past. They've said it's not even part of the same console generation. It's not even part of the race. I disagree. I think they were part of the same race in a classic tale of tortoise and the hare. Other media outlets have called Nintendo a big bumbling elephant that doesn't care what anyone says. In my opinion, Nintendo is that tortoise, slowly lumbering along, doesn't care what anyone has to say, and Microsoft and Sony were the rabbit. If you go back and you watch Microsoft's press conference, it's really obvious that they wanted to be taken as the best. They wanted to have the most games, most exclusive titles, most timed releases, and the Xbox One X is the most powerful and smallest console ever created. And in addition, the Xbox family of systems will be taking over your living room November 7th, 2017. When they announced this big stuff though, it didn't seem genuine. And it's not as if they didn't have opportunities to be unique and to stand out and be themselves. Terry Crews going up to the event had teased about his big E3 surprise. And when it was some little cameo in Crackdown 3 rather than a big production, it fell flat. It fell flat and it didn't get the laughs and the recognition that it deserved. And Crackdown 3 didn't get the hype that it deserved. That's a game that's launching with the system and we saw little to no gameplay, all of which which was jumping around. Day, you throw grenades. Boom. Tomorrow, you'll be throwing cars. Ah. Forget dropping bombs. You're dropping buildings. <laughs> Crickets. Now, on to Sony. Sony killed it at last year's E3. They were hands down the best press conference and they wanted to recreate that thunder. But you can't recapture lightning and do it again. I guess if you had to think about it, the theme of Sony's press conference would have been, we're cool guys. But the problem is, when you're trying to be cool, it doesn't really come off like that. That's not to say that their press conference wasn't really impressive and cool. They had game after game after game, and they had the live orchestra, and they had a waterfall light show going on in the background, and the press conference was cool. But the issue is, this is a games conference, and it didn't have the same impact because the games seem so far away. They listed early 2018 for every early 2018 title. And if every title that they announced at E3 2017 comes out early 2018, I will be shocked. Early 2018. So as a result, you get this like Last Guardian syndrome where the game is definitely going to be delayed and we don't really know when it's going to come out because no concrete dates were listed for a single game at their press conference. To be fair, they did announce some dates at E3. Nino Kuni 2 has a November 10th release date and looks amazing, but for some reason it didn't make it into their showcase. And that's kind of systemic of them trying to be cool. Nino Kuni 2 isn't a cool game, it's an animated game for babies. It's lame to like Knack 2. Who wants that garbage in our press conference? The gamers won't like us. No. It's a game that's coming out this year that we have concrete information about. Let us make fun of you. Let us be excited. Lean in to the punches and roll with them to get us talking about your press conference rather than, oh, well, it was a bunch of really cool trailers and everybody seemed cool. All the trailers were so cool, bro. You gotta check out Sony's cool press conference for sure. But what Sony and Microsoft didn't count on when they were trying to be the coolest or the best was the tortoise. Nintendo showed up the last day of E3. No conference hall, Nintendo Direct only, YouTube instead of Twitch, with the shortest press conference of all of them, and they knocked it out of the park. Asked most people what their favorite press conference was at E3 2017, and the answer, Nintendo, baby. If you looked at Nintendo and Sony's press conferences on paper, they'd actually look pretty similar. A lot of games, a little bit of talking. The difference is the tone. Sony's press conference was one constant tone early 2018. Nintendo, they shot you to the heart. Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, you might as well do a minion crossover, but it still had heart and it was different from Xenoblade and it was different from Mario Odyssey and they all had release dates. 
and the games they did never release dates for, they were honest about it. Not only that, but Nintendo has a major first party release every month for the rest of the year. This tortoise is picking up speed. Then take Microsoft's press conference. They announced the most powerful console and smallest of all time coming to your living room November 7th. And somehow Mario throwing his hat at a frog and then becoming a frog got more hype. It was more exciting. It had heart, not someone just telling you they're the best. And then we had the mother of all. Oh, my sweet, sweet princess. Metroid Prime 4, PNG, plain black background. See ya, thieves. And that is all I have about E3 2017. Let me know in the comments what your favorite press conference was and if I somehow in some small way changed your mind. And until next time, I'm Nick Form, and this isn't even my final, final form. Nintendo may seem like a good, wholesome company on the surface, but I'm here to show you the other side of the coin, that Mario coin. They've been trying to poison our children for years with their magic mushrooms that make you bigger. And now the true demon of their organization has shown his ugly face. He's a hat. Mario's a hat and he has been for years and there's nothing we can do to stop him. Nobody is safe. He'll take control of you. Not only that, but Nintendo's putting hats in the water supply. It's making the frogs gay. They can't control themselves. They're going out to nightclubs, getting into debauchery, and there's nobody that's safe out there. This hat could come in at any time. No, demon, get away from me. You won't corrupt me. I'm the voice of reason. <laughs>